Shiny Pokemon have been mysterious entities ever since the release of the second generation of Pokemon games. Everyone knew they existed, yet they were so rare it was almost as if they didn't to some people, like myself. I never thought, as a wee child, I would find a shiny Pokemon, until I found my very first shiny on Ruby version, my shiny Taylor. But we all know what happened to that, so I won't go into that story again. Shiny Pokemon have intrigued me for the majority of my life. There is just something about them that makes them so special to me, even if it's just a slight change in colour palette. But what about where shiny Pokemon originated? When were they discovered, and what were the odds? Well, shiny Pokemon were initially brought into the Pokemon franchise in Generation 2, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Everyone's most likely first introduction to shiny Pokemon was most probably the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage. However, due to being a static encounter, he's not as rare as most other shinies, due to the fact that everyone has the chance to capture him. In the wild, however, the odds of encountering a shiny Pokemon are 1 in 8192, which is, as a decimal, a 0.01% chance on every encounter for one to appear, which isn't the best odds in the world, but there is still always that small chance that one may pop up in your journey. These odds were increased beyond Generation 5, however, to 1 in 4096, which is significantly better than the previous odds. This caused a variety of different reactions. Some people believe shiny Pokemon are way too easy to encounter now, others are unbelievably happy with the alteration. Me, personally though, I don't really have much of a preference. I like watching people for old shiny hunt on older games, as I really admire their effort. I also like watching people hunt on the newer games with hunting methods, which drastically enhance your shiny encountering odds. But let's take it back to where it all started once again in Generation 2. Did you know that some shiny Pokemon look different to how they were first initially implemented into the games? Yes, some shinies were altered in the first generations. Your favourite shiny Pokemon could have been a different colour at one point in its lifetime, and I personally find that incredibly fascinating. So I've gone through every single Pokemon from generation 1 and 2 and compared their shinies to their newer shiny forms in this day and age, and have compiled a list of all the most drastic changes that were made and altered to these Pokemon. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy. Shiny Charmeleon in this current generation is a bright gold colour, similar to Shiny Charmander's. However, in previous games, his shiny form was a desaturated version of his normal form. He actually appears a bit sickly, quite pale even. I'm actually very happy they changed this one. Its shiny form now is stunning. Shiny Charizard has always been an iconic shiny, probably one of the most overrated in my books, but I still can't deny how awesome it is. Charizard is pitch black with red wings and it seriously makes him stand out from the crowd. But the old shiny Charizard was something special as well, and even has his form in the Super Smash Bros. series as a playable version. His old form was more purple than black, and instead of red wings, they were a forest green shade. I actually don't mind this shiny form personally, and I think it's pretty cool. However, I can't get over my love for black dragons. Interestingly though, this image from the Gen 2 game shows shiny Charizard very similarly to his black shiny form. I don't know what year this image was produced after doing a bit of research. If you know however, please let us know down below in the comment section. Now, Shiny Arbok doesn't have the most drastic change, but I still find it quite interesting. The old Shiny Arbok used to be a puke green shade, and the markings on its chest were bright purple. In comparison, its shiny form now is golden with the markings changed to a deep blue shade. In all honesty, I much prefer its shiny form now to what it used to be. Even though lime green is one of my favourite colours, puke green is one of my least favourites. I just find it fascinating that both his markings and his body colour were altered so differently for future games. Raichu is an interesting choice, I'm going to say, being the evolution of the famous mascot and everything, but despite that, its shiny form was altered as well for future games. Old shiny Raichu used to get paler when it was shiny, its tail changed to a silvery shade along with its stomach and ears, its colour changed to be similar to Pikachu's rather than its normal orange tone. New shiny Raichu's colours is now a darker orange shade. Other than that, shiny Raichu's ears are brown and its belly is white instead of the silvery tinge its older form had. I don't have too much to say about these forms, in all honesty, I do prefer today's shiny Raichu over the old, I don't know, I just prefer the colours I suppose. Shiny Sandshrew is a fan favourite in my book. Like I stated before, I love the colour lime green, and that's exactly what the new shiny Sandshrew is. However, he used to be more of an ashy grey colour, which in my own opinion looks pretty cool, but I still prefer the new Sandshrew, and that may be biased, but hey, it's my video. 
This one is a very funny one. Paris in the original Gen 2 games versus now. Shiny Paris in the Gen 2 games versus now. See anything suspicious? No, just me. Well, then on to the next Pokemon. Ponytail is probably one of the most recognized Pokemon for its incredible shiny. Ponytail's shiny nowadays has the blue flames rather than the red flames. Fun fact, when a flame is blue, it means it's even hotter than a normal flame. Ha, I knew science class would come in handy one day. But the old shiny ponytail did not have blue flames, no. Instead, it had a less saturated red flame. Yeah, boring, am I right? I'm so glad this was changed in future generations. The blue flamed ponytail is a classic. Another favorite shiny of mine due to the color, shiny Dodua in today's generation is lime green. It kind of looks like broccoli, but in the original games of Gen 2, this bird was actually golden, which is also a really cool shiny in my opinion. I love both shinies, but due to one version being lime green, I don't have much of a choice. I love green shinies so much. Shiny Dodrio is exactly the same as Doduo. Instead of its green shiny, it was once gold. I actually feel the gold suits Dodrio a lot better, but I still love the green shade. So Tangler doesn't have a change, and so you're probably wondering why I brought it up. Well, in Gold and Silver, Tangler was a fluorescent teal colour, which got altered in Crystal version. Its green shiny form stayed the same, but I just thought this change from its regular form was interesting enough in itself to make an appearance in this video. Electabuzz is an odd shiny. I really like its new shiny for the current gen, as it's orange and it certainly stands out. However, his old shiny is very similar to Elekid's shiny variant. They merely made him ever so slightly a different shade of yellow, more of a green undertone yellow. I'm very happy they changed this one, otherwise we'd have a hard time picking it out in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee without the sparkles. Another thing I forgot to mention is my love for pink shinies as well, and that is why I love Omanite's current shiny form so much. It's just so cute, pink shinies are probably my all time favourites. However, it used to look a lot different back in Generation 2, and not in a very good way. Yeah, um, what did they even do? The poor thing looks so sick. Is he brown? Is he grey? I've studied colour management, I shouldn't be questioning this right now. Oh, and if you were wondering, Omastar isn't any better. Bring on the pink shinies, they rule over them all. So Spinarak is a weird Pokemon in terms of how it has changed over the years. Spinarak began as a bluish purple spider in silver and gold and then changed in crystal to become the green spider we all know and love. Um, yeah, love. Oddly enough, Spinarak's original form in gold and silver looks more like its current shiny form now than its generation 2 shiny form, which was a bright purple. It's like they just went, you know what, I actually prefer the old Spinarak, let's change its shiny so we can have it back. In saying this though, I actually prefer its generation 2 shiny. Pichu is an interesting one. Basically, it looks exactly how a normal shiny Pikachu would, but strangely, this was changed. Shiny Pichu is now just a slightly darker shade of yellow instead of having its old orange undertone similar to Pikachu's. I prefer the old shiny in all honesty, at least it's easier to notice. Ampharos is one of my favourite shinies. It holds a spot in my heart because Mareep was the first shiny I ever found in Pokemon Go. Ampharos was my very first fully evolved shiny in that game, and as you all know, I love me some pink shinies. But oh boy, Ampharos was not pink before. No. It was actually more of a bluish purple shade, which is way not as nice as its normal pink form. I'm so glad they altered this one because they made it look so much better, but in saying that, I wouldn't have minded its original shiny form either. I mean, it's not the worst. I love shiny swine up in the current gens because it's green. Yes, another green shiny, I know. But did you know that shiny swine up used to be blue? No joke, this one is really cool because I actually really like both shinies and despite my love for green, the blue looks really really cool as well. I don't know what to say about this one, I just really like them both so much. Smeagol is one Pokemon I just can't get over. Look at his original form in gen 2. Now look at his shiny form in Gen 2. Look at his original form now. Now look at his shiny form now. 
Yeah, they literally just flip them through the generations. It's so weird. I'm sorry, I just find it super fascinating. Nothing's really changed other than them being swapped. Oh, but you thought Paris and Smeagol were the only ones like this? Nope. Even Shiny Lavitar had his shiny form and original form swapped for future generations. This is crazy. The fact that they just swapped them over like that really baffles me. I mean, I love Lavitar so much, don't get me wrong, but I also love the fact that they swapped them. His shiny form now being a darker green makes it a little more valuable to me as it's more appealing. That's what I love about certain shinies. Other than the fact that they're rare and they sparkle, if they have a good significant difference in color, which is also appealing to look at, I just find them like a treasure to me. And that was my list on all shiny Pokemon I believe had a significant difference from their shiny forms then until now. Was there a Pokemon I missed? Do you believe a certain Pokemon shouldn't be on this list? Who was your favourite Pokemon on this list? What are your thoughts and opinions? Leave them in the comments section below, I'd love to hear them. Thank you all so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more of my content and hit that bell for notifications to know when I upload. If you would like to follow me on my socials, the links will be in the description below. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter, where I'm most active, both Ray Ray Senpai. I also stream a lot now, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Ray Ray Senpai. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Take care and toodaloo.